Namaskar and good morning. It is a matter of great pride and honor to have with us the living legend of Kuchipuri dance, Dr. Raja Radha Reddy, to enrich us with his experience. And today he will be interpreting the cosmic dance of Shiva under India Ireland Friendship Lecture Series. Dr. Raja and Radha Reddy, world renowned dancing couple, choreographers, and gurus, have given new dimensions to the age old art of Kuchipuri dance. Their illustrious career, spanning over five decades, has been marked by several prolific public and private performances in India and abroad, and has gained them a reputation for rare excellence. As cultural ambassadors, they have traveled to more than 104 countries, sometimes multiple times, and showcased India's rich culture and their talent to numerous kings, queens, prince, princes, presidents, and other dignitaries all over the world. They were amongst the first to pave the way introducing Indian classical Kuchipuri dance to prestigious avenues since the late 60s and early 70s. Their assiduous efforts to spread Kuchipuri dance to the world saw them amongst the first to perform Indian classical dance at Lincoln Center, New York in 1973, whereupon Juilliard School offered them to teach Kuchipuri dance at the school which they refused in order to continue their extensive travel, promoting and popularizing Kuchipuri dance around the world. Being the first Indian couple to perform at the International Dance Festival of Avignon in France, Salzburg, and Vienna, among greats like Rodolphe Nurwave. In 1995, inaugurating the Playhouse Theatre in Durban, performing for President Ford, on Mississippi ship in 1976 in New Orleans. Being the ambassadors of Indian dance in Japan's the All-Star Ballet Gala Festival, they have traveled ex extensively in Germany, giving concerts for the Mercedes-Benz Company in 1987, as well as in 1989, performing at the Queen Elizabeth Hall, where Dr. Raja Reddy was honored with the name Black Shiva performing for Cuban President Fidel Castro on his special request. There is a, a Dublin con uh, connection also. Uh, Dr. Reddy was also presented the key to the city of Dublin as a mark of respect and appreciation by the then mayor in year 1988. Their name surely enough grew synonymous with Puchipuri and they have been conferred with numerous titles and awards as honors for their tireless dedication and continued excellence. To name a few, they were the first couple in the history to get Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan awards individually but simultaneously. Sangeet Natak Academy Award, the Kalidas Samman Award. In 1976, they established Nathya Tarangani Performing Arts Center and Institute of Excellence Devoted to Kuchipuri dance, standing tall in the heart of the capital New Delhi, with the aim of preservation, promotion, and propagation of classical dance and music of India. They are solely responsible for bringing Kuchipuri dance onto the cultural map of the world. This team of Kuchipuri performers is the only Kuchipuri family, along with Koshalya Reddy and their two daughters, Yamini Reddy and Bhavna Reddy, in the world. Now we play a short video showcasing the illustrious journey of the dancing group. Om Namaste Ganapataye Tvameva Pratyakshanta Tvamasi Tvameva Kevalan Kartasi Tvameva Kevalan Dhartasi Tvameva Kevalan Hartasi Tvameva sarvam khalvidam brahmasi Tvam sakshad atmasi nityam Ritam machmi satyam machmi Avat tvam maam avavaktaram Avashrotaram avadataram Avadhataram avanucha namavashisham Ava Paschatat, Ava Purastat, Ava Tarat, Ava Daksh. 
दक्षिणात अवचोर्वात अवाधरात सर्वतो Before we get to listen to this memorable talk, I would request His Excellency, the Ambassador of India, to kindly give his introductory remarks and welcome Dr. Raja Radha Reddy. Namaskaram. Um, very warm greetings to all friends who are connected with this program from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, for me, as India's ambassador, it's a great privilege to welcome uh, someone like Dr. Raja Radha Reddy ji. Uh, whom I have admired uh, uh, since my childhood. In fact, my introduction to Indian dance uh, is thanks to Radha Raja Reddy ji. Uh, as a very young, like maybe five, six year old child, I had uh, seen one of your performances. And since then, my devotion to Lord Shiva and also uh, in interest in uh, Indian dance and Kuchipudi in particular uh, in was initiated. So I owe you a lot of joy and a lot of uh, comfort that I have personally received. And I know uh, that uh, what Hemaji described in terms of number of performances and number of awards that, that have been bestowed on uh, yourself uh, does not do justice to what you have done. Uh, your contribution is uh, simply like beyond description and beyond acknowledgement. Because uh, I see as a life of pure devotion to art and through devotion to art, worshiping the uh, uh, almighty Shiva. And in that way, uh, serving our motherland, our country. Because as an individual, as a family, as an institution, you have added glory to our motherland. And as an Indian, as an Indian ambassador, I feel very grateful to you. And it's a singular privilege for me to welcome you to this uh, lecture series. And I'm particularly grateful to you, sir, uh, for accepting the topic of today's lecture, uh, interpreting the cosmic dance of Shiva. Because uh, today I can't think of anyone who, uh, who, who, can, who is uh, competent to talk about this difficult, challenging theme, because it is very daunting task even for the greatest sages and scholars to describe and interpret Shiva and Shiva, Shiva Mahima. Na bhoomir na chapo, na vahnir, na vayur, na chakash, maste, na tandra, na nidra, na grishmo, na shito, na desho, na vesho. Whatever our eyes see, all is permeated, supported, sustained by him, but he is none of it. He is simply beyond grasping of our senses and thinking power of our mind. Atitah panthanam tavach mahima vang manasayo ratadvya vritya yam chakita mabidhatte shruti mapi sakasya stotavya kati vidhi gunah kasya vishayah pade tvarvachi ne patati namanah kasya navachah. Still, Everyone uh, tries to grasp him, understand him, relish him, describe him, interpret him. Uh, I feel as if we are like small birds who are flying in the sky, uh, knowing that we will not able to measure the vastness of the sky. And even if uh, we leave aside the philosophical, spiritual aspect of Shiva and focus on the mundane, worldly side, uh, Shiva is central to Indian history and culture. And it's incredible continuity in change since prehistoric times. We see Shiva as a thread uh, who connects. Mai protam sarvamidam sutre mani gana eva. Uh, like a thread in which all the beads are connected. He has woven Indian civilization through millennia with that beautiful concept. And from Vedic period to Indus Valley period to the Upanishadic period to Puranic period and epic and classical period until today, Shiva is a constant theme in India. Shiva is also the geographical unifier of India from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. 
and also Shiva sustains and weaves together, harmonizes all aspects of human life. The structure of Sanskrit owes to Maheshwar Sutra coming from Damaru of Shiva. Nataraj uh, is this, the ideal for Natya Shastra. Nandi from uh, Kama Sutra, Kama Sastra. As a Mahayogi, he is a uh, fountainhead of yoga and other knowledge. Uh, and also uh, the sound, all forms of creativity, all forms of literature, iconography, architecture, painting, dance, music, crafts and handicrafts, all of them have been inspired by uh, the divinity of Shiva and Shiva Mahima. Uh, India, I think, cannot be conceived without Shiva. Thinking, contemplating about Shiva itself is so uplifting. And that is why when India is celebrating uh, Ajadi Kamrit Mahotsav, I think this theme is very important for contemporary India. And that is why we are we feel very obliged to you for accepting our invitation to interpret uh, Shiva and his cosmic dance and how you have experienced through your art, Shiva. Thank you so much. Chala Dhanavad Mandi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Akhilaji, you have said everything about Shiva. You have explained so beautifully, very knowledgeable person he is the ambassador of Ireland there in Dublin. I am very proud to say so. As you are celebrating this Mahotsav, can I, can I speak? Yes, please. Ah. Celebrating this uh, Amrut Mahotsav, I will just uh, one, um, this thing, Akhileji, we are really grateful that for inviting us here, and it's a great honor for us, Akhileji. I will just, uh, according to you, though, August Chantu Amruta Mahotsavam Karishyama Bharata Ireland Paramparam Pala Ishyama August Chantu <laughs> Amruta Mahotsavam Karishyamaha, Bharata, Ireland, Paramparam, Pala Ishyamaha. So we are continuing this because, the, as you said, your letter said that their Ireland's 100 some years of their independence, our Bharat 75 years of independence, we are celebrating this. It is a great honor, Akhileji. Now, I will tell, I am grateful to Akhileji. Misraji, who has invited us, and to other dignitaries also, my salutations to you all. And uh, we are great, uh, great, great admirers of Akhilesh Mishraji for his knowledge. And we welcome you all for the distinguishing experience of our Bharat, which provides the bliss and prosperity unto all. Bharat, as by the world, to recognize the principle of coexistence, peace, and cooperation. The whole world is one family. Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. That is our Bharat's interest also. Bharat is also trying to do that actually. Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. That's in Veda say that. And for that paths are many, but our goal is unity in diversity. That is our goal. And though our colors are different, we all are human beings, one family. Right? And Indian civilizational thing, in its heritage, the heritage of Indian civilization heritage is developed. They are interested in the friendship. And India always for the world's cooperation. India always gives their warm hands for the world's cooperation and friendship. That is our Bharat. And Bharat is known as Prachi Sudha because it ever grows on the earth because of dance. As 
Prachi Sudan, the nectar of the East. Veda Nam Janmayatra Boot, not Yot Patti Yeto Bavat. Sayam Bharata Boom is to Prokta Prachi Sude Tija. That is the Bhara. And it is uh, Natyam. Is it because of Natyam, Bharat is known as the Prachi Sudha. What is Natyam actually? Dance. Dance is a poetic expression. Speaks to manifold rhythmic patterns, melodic gestures, and subtle facial expressions. Creates a new world of ecstasy and ethereal existence. The background of the dance in India is not merely what a historian can describe, but it is more than the art, more than the dance. That's historical discipline. It's more than it's more than the history of a man or of a nation. It is the spirit both of eternity and time. Spirit of man and woman. It is Purusha and Prakriti. It is Tandavam and Lasyam. Combination of Tandavam and Lasyam, the dance combination. There's nowhere in the world you find this. And Tandavam, Natanam, Natyam, Lasyam, Nrutyam, Chanartanam, Taudhyatrikam, Nrutya, Gita, Vadyam, Natyam, Idam, Trayam. That is the essence of greatness of Natyam. That it is an expression of the evolution of movement, a truly creative force that has come down to us through the ages. This embodiment of sound and rhythm that creates poetry of spiritual expression is called dance. And as I said, dance speaks through manifold rhythmic patterns. I would like to just glimpse just a small this thing I want to discuss. When we go for academic studies, when we go for academic studies, we start learning alphabets. In the same way, when we start learning dance, we start alphabets, adavus, we call it tam, tattai, tehi, tattam, tehi, ida, tam, tattai, tehi, tattam, tehi, ida, adavus. According to Bharatanava, the tam, tattai, they are equal to om shabdam. That's why this creation is great, great, our rhythmic syllables. After learning these alphabets and what we learn? Words. A for apple, B for boy, and C for cat, like that, no? So with alphabets, with adavus, then we start learning thirmanas, that is like words. Like that, we learn that the, the Adabus and the Thirmanams, the words. Then come to sentence. Sentence means there is a beginning and there is an end. Like we have uh, eight beat cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It starts in one and ends in eight. And tam, that is the full stop. Like that is sentence. It it has to be in the rhythm. Ditta, dimita, kittataka, langutaka, dimitaka, kadiganato, tam. That is full stop. That is sentence. And if you go to paragraph, we have to tell the jati three, four hours or five hours of like So, like ta kattu dinda dinda di taka di gutta di gana tom ta di kattu dinda dinda di taka di gutta di gana tom ta kattu dinda dinda ta di kattu dinda dinda ta dana ta janu di gutta ka ta ka di ki janu 
तदिगतो तद्धन तज्जनु स्टोरी <laughs> there is a mind the hasta mudras we have got the hasta mudras in dance give the meaning of the words in a dance each and every one word will be given by hasta mudra the meaning like that. in single hand gestures what we have this pataka tripataka ardha pataka kartari muk mayura kya ardha chandra aral shuktunda mushti like the 28 single hand gestures and double hand gestures 24 are there like anjali kapota karkata swastika dola hasta pushpa put utsav shiva linga like that 24 single hand gestures they have, we have to learn the hand gestures and it's a combination of footwork patterns hand gestures and expression that and with the hand gestures how we tell the story from uh, i will tell you one from bhagavata is a gajendra moksha there is a forest there are different kinds of flowers in that forest there is a big lake in the forest and one day an elephant walking in the forest comes to drink water from that lake when elephant enters to the water the frogs from that lake started croaking nagana 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 elephant without killing them they croaking he enters the water to drink suddenly the crocodile comes out from the water and it catches the elephant's leg elephant was god and he was a devotee of lord he prays to lord oh lord please come and save me lord vishnu comes with his chakra and he throws his chakra kills the crocodile elephant was free and walks back to the forest happily like that we tell the stories with hand gestures is a combination of footwork patterns and now because here is i cannot do footwork patterns now put a mind and express the sentiments how that's also part when we are doing this mudra and footwork and facial expression so very important like if anything is very beautiful oh very beautiful if you are afraid then show the afraid. if you don't like disgust so that they what this expression what we have nowhere in the world you find this i was teaching to the canadian students then when i show the raw drum no guruji we don't have this this kind of how <laughs> it is like this here. but what we have we have tell the sis kaam ne put for patterns body movements and hasta mudra and expression there how it with the song it goes like um, akhilesh must be knowing that jayadeva he was a great poet and from 12th century ad his wife padmavati was a dancer so she was dancing and he was composing the songs like and a glimpse that how radha tells the joy of her heart with krishna just one line actually. it is in sanskrit that nijagada 
यदुनंदने क्रीडति हृदय नंदने निजगा कसा यदुनंदने क्रीडति हृदय नंदने निजगा कसा यदुनंदने हंसी से गुरु यदुनंदना चंदन से शेरत मेरा का मेरा डिटेल में जोड़ पाते इस ब्यूटीफुल साउंड्स को चल 12 सेंचुरी ही इस स्टोरी का वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वेरी ब्यूटीफुल तो लाइक दैट टू बी टेल द स्टोरी इज दैट सो डांस इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ फुटवर्क पैटर्न्स मेलोडी जेस्चर्स एंड सटल फेशियल एक्सप्रेशंस तो लाइक दैट इट हैज कम एंड throughout the ages dance is there in our country during the vedic period also it is there dance and dance has developed into classical arts because of the regional influences the with the different names otherwise all dances are connected with the natya vedam natya shastra like that so and dance was created by shiva it is known as the divine dance the our indian dance is known as the divine dance it created by lord shiva and we do namaskaram sashtanga we do go <laughs> what we can uh, one minute rather hmm. like the through the ages our dances have developed into a mature classical art they have high place in the indian society with religious sanctity dancing as an art has been popular in the india throughout the ages it was popular in vedic period also indian dance is known as the divine art created by god lord shiva and we bow to the venerable auspice shiva whose body is the entire universe entire universe is body and whose speech is the entire language of the mankind and his adornments are the moon and the stars he is the creator preserver and destroyer of the universe that is the greatness of lord shiva in dance also we show that then then he is a cosmic dancer known as nataraja the king of dance cosmic dancer so please ask them to play this
beginning of your time. <laughs> and I have to tell you that when Shiva was dancing, Akhilesh knows everything. His mantle locks of hair, where the river gauges rests, it opened and the hair was flying on his shoulders and his earrings were shining and his cheeks were also bright shining because of the earrings light shining. Then we can see the nine sentiments on Shiva's face. The Srungaram, erotic love. Viram, valor. Karunyam, compassion. Adbhutam, wonder. And Hasyam, ridicule. Bhayam, fear. And Bhipatsam, disgust. Raudram, fury. And finally, Shantam, the peace. These nine sentiments were seen on Shiva's face. Now I think that is also regarding also this. Please play the nine sentiments. Navarasa. Hmm.
That was Navarasas, shown by Shiva. And one more thing also we would like to show that it is believed that when Shiva was dancing, five rhythms sprang from his feet. Five different rhythms. And we show the five rhythms with five expressions, like this. Sakita, Sakita, the one, two, three, one, two, three, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, tuck it, creation, we show the e. The creation symbol is Damaru. With Damaru, even Shabdhas came, Patyam also we learned from Damaru. Like, so creation, tuck it, tuck it. Then the hand of hope, preservation, protection and destruction holding the fire. That is destruction. Abode for the soul, indicating the lifted kunchita pada. And salvation, as far into the lifted foot. So creation, 
preservation, destruction, and abode for the soul and salvation, moksha. That is with the rhythm, five rhythms. So Shiva does like that. So kindly see that five rhythms also sprang from his feet with five different creations. <clears throat> We have got Tattva Shastra, where the rhythms also give some meaning. Tam Tattva, Tam Tattva, Dheem Tattva, Tam Tattva means this whole universe is the dancing temple to the Shiva. That the meaning of that Tattva Shastra. So whole universe is the dancing temple to the Shiva. Then when Shiva dances, people from all over the world, they enjoy. Shiva and Parvati, actually. And how Shiva and Parvati are dancing for the enjoyment of the universe. Just a glimpse, small glimpse. Please see that. Shiva is the founder of dance and he is the creator of the universe and destroyer of the protector of the universe also. That's, and uh, what we said is 
according to tattva shastram this tam tattatte universe is the dancing temple of shiva to shiva has been dancing all over the world all over the world shiva is known as nataraja and shambhu and shiva is also known as akhilesh ambassador be he is traveling all over the world world is his temple that's in temple so i'm very happy that we are here to show some glimpse of shiva and parvati akhilesh okay. Um, that what we actually is uh, for your kind of mind. We completely, you know that we are completely dedicated for this which would be dance, divine dance. Me, Ratha, Kaushalya, and Yamini Reddy, Pawan are the completely dedicated. Mm -hmm. So, which would be the difference of which would be dance is it's a combination of theater and temple dance. That is the beauty of which would be. And for Tandavam last time also for Shiva's main Tandavam last time. The Kuchipudi is a beautiful dance step. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good, yes, no? Beauty. Oh, yes. Chala uh, Dhanavad Mandi. No, no, please. Yeah, uh, we have please. been watching and listening to you with great admiration and really we are overwhelmed by your wisdom, your uh, your expressions and your ability to explain even to the lay people like us. Uh, we are so grateful. Thank you very much. In, in Mahabharata, there is a saying that there are three types of dan. Uh, the, the lowest kind of dan is one where the the donor the dani uh, gives with great difficulty someone something which is asked uh, the medium kind of donation uh, madhyam dan is where the the person gives but after asking and also with like grudgingly gives but the the greatest the noblest form of dan is one where the yachak doesn't have to ask Uh, the the dani himself sees the situation and the facial expression and condition of the yachak and gives him uh, dan and gives it so generously liberally and you are naturally one of the greatest donors uh, and aapka dan tha wo sarvotkrist ke star ka tha ki jitna hum logo ne ummeed ki thi jo hum log mangna chahte the wo bina mange aapne prastut kiya इन फैक्ट मैं हेमा जी से रिक्वेस्ट करने वाला था कि आप अपने कुछ वीडियो पुराने दिखाएं बिना मांगे आपने दिखाया और इतने चॉइसेस रिकॉर्डिंग्स आपने दिया कि मैं समझता हूं कि कुल मिला के आज का आपका प्रेजेंटेशन हम सब के लिए बहुत बहुमूल्य है और हम लोग इसको फेसबुक पे अपने सोशल मीडिया पे डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म से हम लोग इसको प्रिजर्व करेंगे और खूब अच्छी तरीके से उसको दुनिया भर में फैलाना भी चाहेंगे क्योंकि आज का आपका जो होलिस्टिक प्रेजेंटेशन था और जिस तरीके से आपने नरेशन दिया एक्सप्लेन करते हुए फ्रॉम अडहू से लेकर के फिर जो तत्व शास्त्र तक का पूरा आपने ज्ञान शेयर किया हम लोगों के साथ वो हम लोगों के लिए बहुमूल्य रहा थैंक यू वेरी मच वेरी मच वी डांस इन अखिलेश जी वी गॉट अ रिक्वेस्ट टू स्टे इन न्यूयॉर्क आल्सो इन सैन फ्रांसिस्को आल्सो मेनी रिक्वेस्ट मेनी प्लेस इवन अफ्रीकन कंट्री वी वेंट दे वांट दे वांट टू गिव अस अ लैंड बिग लैंड स्टे हियर एंड टीच ही सेड नो दैट्स व्हाई द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ आवर डांस इज लाइक यू नो That Kalidas, what he has written, this Natyam Vidya Vitaya Janasya, Bahudapi Ekam Samaradhanam. This Natyam provides a unified forum and gives universal enlightenment. That is the greatness of our class. We are very privileged. We are very privileged to be here, and. 
Our from, from Indian Embassy, once again, our profound gratitude to you, uh, Koshalya ji and Radha ji and uh, your two brilliant daughters. We were happy to have Bhavna ji some time ago and we, we look forward to greater opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.